This method can help answer key questions regarding treatment response and clinical decline over time in clinical trials for patients with Duchenne muscular dystrophy. The main advantages of this technique are its lower dependency on the patient's compliance and suitability for both ambulatory and non-ambulatory patients. Demonstrating the procedure will be Christina Seppi, a trained physiotherapist for motor function measure from the University Children's Hospital Basel. Perform the clinical assessment of motor function by having the patient complete the following tasks, beginning with him lying down on his back. First, he should hold his head in midline position and then turn it from one side to the other. In this and all subsequent motions, score the patient on a scale of 0 to 3 based on performance. Next, have the patient remain laying down with his head in the midline position and ask him to raise his head and maintain this position. Then have him bring one knee up to his chest. Now, with one leg flexed both at the hip and knee at approximately 90 degrees, ask him to place his lower leg parallel to the mat with the foot in plantar flexion. Then ask him to perform a maximal dorsiflexion of the foot. Next, the patient should place one upper limb beside his body and bring his hand to the opposite shoulder. Then, still lying down on his back, he should move his lower limbs half-flexed, with the feet resting on the mat slightly apart. Ask him to maintain this position and raise his pelvis. Next, ask the patient to lie on his back and then turn over on.